Hey everybody, I hope that you're doing fan frickin tastic I know that it's been a little while since I posted a video here on YouTube, so I wanted to come back. I've been away, I traveled a little bit, had some weddings, had some business and work stuff going on, um, but I wanted to come back to you today because today is day one of my new 100 day challenge. Um, Last year, if you follow me on Instagram or if you're friends with me on Facebook, you saw that I did 100 burpees for 100 days. Um, it was a challenge that just kind of came out of nowhere. I didn't like doing burpees and I figured I'll just challenge myself to see if I can will myself into liking them. End result was is I didn't end up loving burpees or anything like that. I got better at doing them, but that was pretty much it. But there was a lot of other benefits that came out of it mentally. And so I wanted to do another 100 day challenge. I am doing a, a physical fitness challenge for myself. Um, basically, it's a circuit that involves jump switch lunges, plyometric push-ups, and sit-ups. And I'll put a little video at the end of this showing kind of what my first day looked like. Um, but that's not necessarily the reason why I'm doing this 100-day challenge. And the um, reason why I'm telling you about it is because I want to encourage you to do your own 100-day challenge. If it's a physical fitness challenge, great. If it's some other type of challenge, awesome. But pick something that you can do that's a challenge every single day for 100 days. And what happens is when you actually get into the rhythm of doing that, you're unlocking this commitment mindset in here. And when you commit to something, it changes the way your brain works. And all of a sudden you start to see other things happen as well because your brain is now unlocked. It's able to see things that it wasn't able to see before because maybe before you weren't committed to things. The top reason why people are not successful at following a diet plan, successful in their business, successful in sales, real estate sales, whatever sales you're in, or your nine to five job. The number one reason why people are not successful is because they don't commit. And sometimes it's hard to commit. There's other things that distract us. You know, it's more fun playing Call of Duty or it's you know better to go out with the guys at night or whatever it is. So by doing this 100 day physical fitness challenge that I can do in the morning in less than 10 minutes before I do my regular workouts, one, it gets in morning movement, which is one of the key ingredients to my perfect morning routine, as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos. But the other thing it does is it forces a commitment, right? So you put it out there saying, hey, I'm gonna do this for 100 days, and now you have to do it. Anybody can do something for 30 days, but committing to something for 100 days is a serious commitment. And so what I experienced last year when I did this is my mind started to see other things. I started to see deeper into my dieting, what I was eating. Could I eat better to increase my health, to better my health? Um, what am I doing in my business? I saw a different thing, hey, where can I commit in my business? Because my mind was open to it because especially after 20 to 30 days when things started to really roll and there was still 70 days left, my mind was like, all right, I guess we're gonna be doing this for a while. So like, I gotta wake up every day and be prepared for this. I said, what else can we commit to? And that was the beauty of committing to something for 100 days. So the purpose of this video uh, being day one of my 100 day challenges. One, I hope that you follow along. Um, I'll be, probably be posting some stuff on Instagram as I go through updates and things along the way. I might do some stuff here. If you're not following my, me on Instagram, it's uh, at Matthew J. Benelli on there. Um, you can also connect with me on Facebook if you like to as well. But I'll probably be posting stuff there, probably stuff here. So hopefully you'll follow along. I hope that it does inspire you to do something, um, to commit to something. Give yourself a challenge, and the key in committing to a challenge is doing something that is uncomfortable, something that is challenging but attainable. You know, don't challenge yourself to do a million sit-ups a day. I mean, unless you can do that, which I don't even want to think about how long that would take, but commit to something that is hard, but something that you can accomplish, because you can always increase the challenge over the course of the 100 days too if you need to, or you can work on hitting a better time or things like that. So anyway, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic summer. I'm looking forward to putting out some more videos here for you guys, but I just wanted to get this to you. You guys got less than six months now to finish up 2018, and I want you to commit to something and kick some serious butt and make the second half of this year the best six months that you've ever had in whatever aspect of your life that you wanna make it great in. So have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys soon. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, July 18th, and today is day one of my new 100-day challenge. So what I'm gonna be doing 
is um, it's a fitness challenge, like I said before, but it's really more of a 100-day challenge to unlock that commitment mindset and get committed to something for 100 days, um, which can unlock a lot of other power within your mind. But here's what I'm gonna be doing. So it's going to be a circuit of three exercises in a descending ladder. So 10 reps of each, then nine reps of each, all the way down to one. And we're gonna start with uh, switch lunges. So those jump switch lunges, 10 on each leg. And we're gonna go into a plyometric push-up, which is like a push-up with a little, with a little pop at the end. And then we're gonna finish uh, the circuit with uh, 10 sit-ups. So we're gonna do 10 of everything, then nine, then eight, all the way down to one. Um, seems like a good full body kind of exercise routine. So we're gonna head over to the gym right now and try that out. Day one of 100, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, the sun's now coming up. Day one is complete. And I will say that this routine does seem a little bit easier than doing 100 burpees for 100 days, but it took about the same amount of time. So let's see how it goes over the next several days. And then we can maybe start to work up the intensity a little bit as we move through the 100 days. But I'm excited to be back and do a 100 day challenge, unlock that commitment mindset and see what else happens over the next 100 days. Have an awesome day.